hey, are you looking to learn machine learning, uh, build and train your own model without breaking your bank? Then you are at the right place. In this video, we'll show you how to sign up for Azure free trial subscription and introduce you to Azure machine learning workspace. This video is for you if you are a college undergrad doing his research project or a researcher all together or beginners in machine learning. And I would love to know which one defines you. Let me know that in the comments. But whichever you are, Azure free trial is the best way to get started. And by the end of this video, you'll have your Azure account set up and be familiar with the machine learning workspace. So let's begin. Step one is to open a browser and search for simply on Google Azure free trial subscription. Now we will be picking the second one that's from Microsoft and select start free. But feel free to have a look around this uh, website to know more about what are the offerings. But let's stay focused. So start free and then it asks me to sign in. Well, I will use a, uh, you may want to create new account and once you select on create new, it asks you to just follow a set of procedures to create your account. So I'll skip that part. Now I'll open portal.azure.com with my new account signed in and the moment I open that account, it shows me a notification pop up which shows or which says that I have 12,000 credit INR rupees on my account and it will last for a month and this can vary depending on which country you are in but this is definitely sufficient for us to learn machine learning and not just learn but do actual some great stuff on machine learning and build some models and train them. So now I need to create Azure machine learning resource on my subscription and that is pretty straightforward. I'll have to click on create resource which I can do it from here home button or I can just do it from the top left create a resource. In the marketplace I'll search for Azure machine learning and hit enter. Now we'll select the machine learning resource from Microsoft and create it. So creating this resource is pretty straightforward. Uh, for resource group, I'll create a new resource group and name it Azure ML hyphen RG. Then we do need to give it a name. Uh, let's call it demo ML. Now we do need to fill the name parameter. Let's call it demo ML. And you'll see that storage account key vault and application insights are auto filled. And container registry, I'll go with default. Now next in networking tabs, uh, I'll proceed with public as the default value that's selected. For encryption, let's skip that. We do not want that. We are getting the user system managed identity. Let's move in with the defaults tags. We are not adding that. And let's see if our resource gets successfully validated. So it will prompt us if a field is unexpectedly filled by us. So it's a success. Uh, everything is valid. Let's create the resource. All right, so we are done. Uh, it took a lot of time, but I skipped that part. Lucky you. Um, jokes apart, the deployment is done and the resource is ready. Let's check it out. So in the center of the screen, uh, we have the launch studio button. And that's pretty much that we have on this resource that's really useful for us right now. Uh, we have all sorts of other information. But Launch Studio is the button if we hit, uh, the Machine Learning Studio will open up. But the other way is to 
simply open a new tab and instead of portal.azure.com uh, go to ml.azure.com you can always hit the launch studio button feel free to do that and since we are in single sign on it will automatically sign in from the previous tab of the browser and uh, we are in sync in terms of accounts and in workspaces i can see that we are demo ml that we just created is showing up so let's open this model in our workspace and see what happens okay i can see a welcome note and that's from microsoft and the azure team thank you uh, got it <laughs> so uh, on the left side we have a lot of tabs and feel free to explore them and try to understand um, uh, let's see if What's model catalog? Uh, try CNN, no, not very relevant. But majorly we have three sections, authoring, assets, and manage. Now, feel free to explore these and try to make sense of it by, your, by yourself. Uh, and we will prob possibly meet up in the next video and walk through these and uh, I'll be happy to explain what's the role of each component before actually starting to train or build your own models um, but try it out data it makes sense you will be storing your data there notebook it makes sense you'll code there models it makes sense that there's the list of models there <laughs> but if you found this video helpful guys subscribe to my channel stay connected uh, in the next video it's this it's all about this we'll focus on this and first of all get really friendly with this portal and then we can slowly head on and start writing or building models and then training them on our custom data sets and that's a wrap uh, thank you so much for watching this video i hope you learned something and enjoyed it as well and do subscribe for the upcoming videos where we'll dive deeper into training models and deploying them and much more.